when I look at some of the numbers about where the United States ranks when it comes to science and math compared to the rest of the globe, the numbers are, are terrible. They are. Does that surprise you? It does, because we came from such a position of strength. Our heritage, you know, this nation was made um, and the foundations built based on innovation. You know, you go way back to steel, locomotives, you know, Yahoo. You don't have to go, even go that far back. You look at the nation that we have and the wealth that we have. You know, I always say roads that are paved and lights that work all the time, and that all comes from innovation. I think that we broke down in a lot of different places, many, many different places. I think we broke down in families and family structure and expectations that families have for kids. We broke down in schools. We actually took our focus away from excellence and performance and accountability. We took our focus away from areas like science and math. We, um, we, we lost focus on what really creates value. I don't believe it's too late to change it. We have to step back and actually get to the basics, the basic things that made this nation great, that made um, a story like mine possible, that made um, you know, the, the country be a, a great country and a place where people want to come. And we are losing that fundamental basis, and it's scary. You're an engineer. You run a Fortune 500 company. Are you worried about finding employees for your company who can do the job? The answer is more than worried. I'm living with the problem. I'm, I'm panic-stricken about it. You have jobs open that you can't we have job op- We have jobs open that are better. We can find better candidates more readily um, from other nations or in other nations and other places um, than we can here. But Americans can't do those jobs? They can't. We don't have enough to pick from. So I'm recruiting for them. So is IBM and Yahoo and Google, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we just have more um, need than there is a good selection pool um, from. And that's a, that's a big challenge. Is that because students in the United States are not taking the high-level math and science classes that, that their competitors in other yeah. countries are. It starts back, it starts with that basic point, that today in education, so, you know, we have, you know, millions of kids in school. Um, we don't, unfortunately, graduate, the, especially in public schools, there any 40%, 50% maybe of the kids in inner city public schools, it's, it's more like 70% of the kids leave before they graduate. The, Stunning numbers, stunning. Yeah, it's sort of like the building's on fire. Yeah, and so the building no is on fire. No screaming yet. Right, so we have to start at the very beginning, right? So we have the greatest universities in the world, entry-level um, universities and high-level universities that are, that are second to none. So what's the problem? So you say, well, we have the place where they get it. The problem is you have to actually create them. You have to get people interested, passionate, um, willing to try, willing to put in the effort way back first, second, third, fourth grade. That's if, when you need to be focused That's when you need to be focused. And, and if you think about the statistics today, you know, we lose, if you get a girl interested in science and technology, by the time they're in fourth grade, they've, we've lost 50% of them. And by the time they're in seventh grade, we've lost, a, we lost 50% of the remaining, that we will have three quarters of the, of the women in the world, in the United States, not interested in taking science, technology, engineering, or math. 